Hey guys, it's Hey Sophia and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on 50 different ways that you could build with the new blocks that will be getting released in Minecraft Update 1.12. If you have not seen already, Minecraft has released a snapshot this week that showed off concrete blocks, concrete powder blocks, terracotta tiles, new reskinning for colors of wall blocks things like that so i'm doing a video today on 50 different ways that you can build with all these new blocks i've come up with lots of designs i love the blocks they're going to be so great for designing in minecraft so my first room here is a bathroom i've got quite a few bathrooms i have used three new blocks in this room one is the roof i've got the white concrete block two is the walls i have the gray concrete block and three is i've used one of the terracotta tiles just in a really random i've just placed it there for the sake of placing it a fashion on the back wall i'm using this not so much as just a shower feature tile but also a wall like a whole wall feature tile for the bathroom so my next two designs here is for the bathroom as well so I've got two different shower tiles, so one thing that you could do if you want is if you want to make a little shelf area in your shower, sometimes you'll find showers now have got tiled shelves. I put the terracotta tiles at the back as like a splashback tile feature thing as a cutout. I then also have the terracotta tiles on the base of my shower, so I've got two different ones that are matching, two different things. You could do one or the other, you don't have to do both in your bathroom, it's up to you. The next design here is I've simply got the another terracotta design and I've got it going up the wall so this is purely a shower tile but I've got it featuring going from floor to roof I think it looks quite nice. The next two designs here is I've got the concrete block on the wall but then I've gone around the base of my bathroom with a terracotta tile so it's kind of adding uh, working as that like that splashback tile you'll see in bathrooms that go from the floor just up like a meter up the wall or a few feet that's what I've got here I then have also used the tiles to make a like a tiled uh, vanity sink here so I've got a hopper in the middle acting as my sink I then just use a lever for a tap and I've got a couple of blocks of the tiles for a sink basin so my next design here, very obvious one as you can see, I've just used the terracotta tiles, oh I forgot a lever, <laughs> I've just used the terracotta tiles as my main tile for the flooring, it's completely up to you how you would like to go about it, as you can see I've just got a nice flooring here. And I've also used the concrete on my wall as well, each, each room here I've used the concrete. So bam! This is a very in-your-face bathroom. This is a retro style kind of bathroom that I've used the tiles for. I've used the yellow one all over the wall. I've then tried to cut through it by doing a quartz line around the top as you can see. You don't have to do that though. You could do a yellow line and then white quartz for the rest of the tiles. It's completely up to you. I have then also featured the tiles in the bottom of my spa bath here. So there's another two ways that you could use the tiles in a bathroom as well. But let's go on to kitchens. Now, I absolutely love this design I've done here. This pro probably not the floor. I'm not the biggest checkered floor fan. But using a mix of two different terracotta tiles as a splash back behind my stove here. Oh, I love it. So <laughs> I really love kitchens. I'm a very big cook. I love to bake and things like that. I love kitchens. This is a very modern design for a splash back in a kitchen now. Sometimes you won't have tiles going the whole way around, but you'll have them just featuring floor to roof. So this is a very cool way to feature your stone, your stone, not your stone, your oven. <laughs> So my next two designs here is I've got a splashback going around the uh, cupboards of my kitchen here. You could do one high, I've gone for two just to show that. My second thing that I've done here is I have made a matching tile island counter. So you don't have to do matching, you could do different blocks, you've got two different types, it's up to you. My next design here is like the bathroom over there, I've just got the tiles as my floor tile. I've just got, I've just, well, I'm just trying to feature another design here. I'm trying to show you each tile so you've got something to do with each. Now this design here I actually really like. This is kind of like a rustic-y 
I suppose Spanish, Mexican, South American maybe type kitchen. So I've tried to use the orange hardened clay for my walls. I'm then using endstone as my uh, wall kind of petals and I've got the tile featuring in it. I think it looks quite nice. Now this design here is for a lounge room and I love it. It's like my kitchen. I love this. So if you want a really modern looking lounge room, I have simply used the tiles here for a fireplace. I've then got spruce as my mantle complementing the tiles. I think it looks really nice. Like look how nice that looks. Who would not want that for a lounge room? I really love this design. If you want a really nice finished fireplace, go with the tile one. So like my kitchen, this is kind of matching that design over there. I have used the tiles on the floors. I've got spruce ceiling beams. S ceiling beams? Yeah. <laughs> so this design here, I'm also featuring the tiles in a environment so you can understand different ways that you could use them. So if you have maybe something in a Mesa uh, biome or something like that and you're using orange hardened and clay, a block like this can be a really nice tile. I think it looks really good. My next design here is if you have a modern house, maybe you just want a feature wall, something like that. I think the tiles actually also look really nice as you can see as a wallpaper. Looks quite nice, adds a bit of colour, a bit of pop of colour. To your, I've just made a hallway here. It's kind of like that. You could also do a different block like the one on the fireplace. I've just gone with the blue. So this room has three different designs. One, black concrete makes great TVs. As you can see, it's so black. Like look how black that is. It's perfect for a TV, so use black concrete. Oops, I accidentally took a screenshot. My next design here is I've used the green as a wallpaper, a wallpaper, a wallpaper behind my TV there. I think it looks quite nice. I've then used quartz on top for white shelving. And my next idea, I think this is really cute. I think this is a cute idea I came up with. So these are picture frames. So all I've simply done is I've put a terracotta tile on the wall. I've then put a item frame and I've just put player heads over the top. I've got mine featured and shout out silver sunset. I've put your head there, why not? I think they're actually really really cute for picture frames so if you want a cute little picture frame type thing in your house go off to terracotta tiles do any color pattern you want they make really really great frames so yeah i think that's a really cute idea that i came up with i'm actually quite proud of it <laughs> yeah so there's my next design there so we're going to move on to this one so this is a very dodgy build i've done i've just i've more done this really really dodgy to show you the idea so if you've ever seen in the Middle East, they have mosques or things like that, but a lot of the buildings they'll have really, really intricate, beautiful ceilings that are tiled. So I've just tried to replicate here with the tiles. As you can see, I've used a few different blocks. This is again, very dodgy design, but I'm all just giving you the idea. Now this build here, I've got two different things. One, concrete blocks. Two, I've got a concrete tile. But oh my god, can I just say, if you want to do anything Greek in Minecraft, use the concrete blocks. They are beautiful. So the one issue I've always had with trying to build a Greek house in Minecraft, like based on Santorini, is that the lapis block has got too much texture, but the blue hardened clays are too dark. They're not vibrant. But this blue concrete block is absolutely perfect. So if you want to be doing a Greek village, anything like that, use the concrete. It's the best block to do a Greek house. I'm very excited. I've been wanting to do a Greek house tutorial. I'll probably do one now with the new blocks when they fully come out. I'm really happy. So the next thing I've done also out here, I've used the grey tiles, kind of mismatchy all in a different pattern to cut it actually kind of looks like gray stone with white grout if you make it very messy you just want to try and not make a pattern like i had there by accident but if you just have it kind of going all over it looks like gray tiles uh gray tiles gray stones that have white grout but let's move on now to my middle section so this is the de like decor and exterior designs first one here i've used a column I've simply put a terracotta tile at the base for colours pop. If you've been in shopping centres, sometimes in older designs they'll have a column and they'll have that tiled bit right at the bottom. That's just what I've gone for here. And adds just a bit of colour to your column if you're wanting a bit more detail or something like that. 
My next design here is another one that I, as soon as I thought of tiles, I was like, yes, water fountains, water features, a lot of them will have tiles at the base of them. I'm so excited to be using the tiles for this. So as you can see, you want to be probably going for a blue. You could do a different color if you want, but the blue looks really, really nice as a fountain tile. My next design here is a wall mural. So I've gone for the pink. It's actually turned out better than I thought it would. So if you want a feature in your garden or something like that, like I talked about in my five different ways to upgrade your garden, which I will link down below. You want a feature, something to grab people's attention. This could be a really great idea for your garden. Not only does this have height, but it really draws your attention and I think it looks quite nice. I have simply made a trim up the top with quartz block and I think it looked quite good. My next design here kind of matches my Spanish, uh, Spanish mexican -y. Uh, South American type build that's over in the right there with the orange walls So if you want to make archways in your house I really recommend doing curved ones and then doing feature tiles like this along the archway I've made a really 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 big arch here. You don't have to though And the next thing here is pools This was one of the first things I thought of as well when I heard of tiles. I was like yes tiled pools so excited so I've gone for two different designs here. I've got the concrete as my fiberglass looking sides. I've just gone sandstone on one with the kind of complementing blue tile. And then this one here, I've gone blue on the base, but I've also got blue around the rim. Now, if you've ever been in, well, I, I suppose I typically see this in older style pools now, not so much modern ones. You'll see that sometimes pools will have the little tiles that are just just around the top of the pool. So I've just tried to replicate that by going one layer with the the um, tiles around the top there. Yeah, I'm, the bit, I'm, I'm really dodgy with filling water today. So if you want a really good pool design, tiles can look really, really great. It can just add that little bit more to your pool if you're finding it's a bit, a bit dull or it's lacking something. Another thing you could do is if you have your tiles down the bottom, you could do one whole tile, just fill it up, do your pattern, then grab quartz blocks and you can make patterns, like you could make dolphins in your pool or anything like that. I think it's a really good idea and it's cool. So my next few designs here are more furniture. First one, if you've got a coffee, if coffee table, sorry, yeah, no, yes, coffee table. If you've got a couch, the terracotta tiles can make really great coffee tables. You can accent them with buttons, trapdoors, things like that. They're quite a nice, nice little pop of colour. My next designs here are plant pots. So, plant pots, when you buy them, they are terracotta glaze plant pots. Like if you find the blue plant pot in your garden store, it'll be a terracotta glaze plant pot. So why not use terracotta tiles for plant pots? I think they're really nice. They're quite cool, artsy looking. I've just gone for my primary colors here. So red, yellow, blue. I've accented them with trapdoors and buttons and stone buttons and wood buttons. Completely up to you. You could do whatever colors you want, but I think they actually make really, really cool plant pots. So my next design here is a mosaic uh, dining table. So maybe you have an outdoor entertaining space, you want something that's a bit more outdoorsy but that's not glass or wood, mosaic tiles can be really great. And my next design here is maybe if you have slabs in your household and you're working with slabs, the terracotta tiles will make great little pop of colour um, coffee tables. As you can see, place it in the wood and it's the perfect height actually for a coffee table and it looks really really good and it's something different than just everything else. So my next design here is, I've built a little dodgy temple here. Sometimes you'll see in South Korean, uh, Chinese or Japanese temples, they got the artwork dug into the wood or painted up the top. I've tried to replicate that with the red one here. I don't know if anyone else thinks so, but I think these kind of look like clouds. So they're really quite cool to do artwork with. And then on the inside here, I've used another terracotta tile, but I think this is very oriental looking, probably more Chinese but it looks really great as a floor covering or you could use it as a wallpaper as well. 
Now this design that I came up with, I'm actually really pleased with as well. I'm probably using this in my builds. So if you have a staircase and you're wanting something a little bit different or something quite quirky, use some tiles and then I've just used spruce wood here with the blue because I think it looks quite nice. But it's quite cool because you get the cut through of tile wood, tile wood. So my next design here, now I don't know if anyone here is a Pokemon fan, I think this would probably be from Ruby? Maybe, I don't think it would be from Crystal. Anyways, there was a Pokemon gym in Pokemon where you would enter the gym and to get to the gym leader you had to go through these little panels and you'd walk on them and they would spin you around and pop you out in the direction that you you're wanting to go in. So I've kind of replicated that here. But the reason I've done this, I think these can be really, really cool mazes. So I've just done glass um, panels here for my walls, but you could use blocks, anything like that. But I think it's quite cool because you can go, okay, well, here's your block. You could go this way or this way. Which way do you choose? Do you want to go this way or this way? And then you follow it. Oh, okay, no, it's not that way. I've got to go back. So I think they're really quite cool for like little maze things. I've heard of people also saying they'll use them for maps, which also makes sense. But yeah, this is my Pokemon inspired little thing with that. <laughs> I think it's quite cute actually. And like I said, you don't have to use the glass. If it's too see through, you could use blocks that are quite um, not so opaque, or you could go taller. Just giving you an example. Now this design here, I also love. If you haven't gathered already, I'm a really big garden fan. So one of the things I also thought of when I heard of terracotta tiles was little mosaic outdoor spaces. So you might want a little private courtyard, something like that. You'll find a lot in gardens, they might do mosaics more with pavers. I've gone with the terracotta tiles, which they will also do sometimes. I think it looks really cute, really pretty. Oh, it's just really beautiful. I love outdoor things like this, so I'm excited. Now this one is more, well these few here are more so upgrades that you currently have. So the first one is roads. Say goodbye to Cyan. I think I'm saying that wrong. I'm really tired. Say goodbye to the Cyan block. Sometimes texture packs will actually make them the blue greeny color that they're meant to be. If you use the gray concrete now, you don't have to worry about that. It's actually the color of roads. I've then used the black one. Look how black that is. But the only difference I've gone here is I've kept with the yellow hardened clay. Now if you look at the, so there's the yellow hardened clay, but if you look at the yellow, the yellow concrete block, I'll fill this in a bit more, but look how bright this is, like, bam, like that's so in your face. So I've kept with the yellow hardened clay because it tones it down just a little bit, but it still looks quite nice with the dark road. Or you could go white concrete and grey concrete for a grey road. So these are more upgrades that you could do with the new blocks. The next one here also, if you looked at my 10 different road design video, I made a little kind of country road like this. If you're wanting a new way to use the new brown uh, concrete powder, if you put a few blocks of that randomly in the pathway, it looks quite cool. It kind of looks like mud. And it's just a different texture from all the other blocks that are already currently there. So I think it's quite nice, just add something a bit more. Now something else that you can do with the brown concrete powder, <laughs> I have to keep saying that, is if you want to make a little pig pan or something like that, it makes really great mud. Because the texture is quite nice, like if you look at the coarse dirt, it looks actually like dirt, but if you look at the grey, the grey, the brown concrete powder. It actually looks like mud. So I think it's something really cool if you just want to accent the bottom of your pig's pen or something like that. I think it looks quite cute. Hello piggies. Let's move on to the next one here. So this is two different things you could do. One is if you have a modern house. I really recommend changing your building materials now to the concrete. It looks much more, it's much smoother, it looks much more sleek, more modern. It's going to be really good for modern builds. So if you've got a modern house like that, upgrade to the concrete block and it will do you wonders. The other thing you could do out the front, I've gone with this out the front of the modern house because it kind of makes sense. If you do formal gardens or anything like that, I see some people do these stripy gardens. It's not typically my thing, although it can be really suited in some gardens. Or maybe you've got fake grass in a backyard. Use the green concrete powder and then the green hardened clay. It looks really good. The only thing that I haven't done is you, like, I've gone for the green hardened clay, clay, sorry, 
either texture but if you look at the bright green concrete powder it's too bright so I've gone for the clay and the normal green concrete powder because it just dulls it down a little bit it looks a little bit more natural too and we'll move on to this design now so if you have a subway station or maybe you've got a security checkpoint at the bottom of a tower beep you go through I'm using the pointy arrow blocks as your enter here and then I'm using the red concrete blocks as doodle enter kind of things. I think it's quite good because the red's such a bold bright red it really puts the point across really well and it's also smooth so it's not wool texture or anything like that. So I've got the purple arrows, arrows to say go through and I've got the red ones to say no. Something else that I just thought of that you could do. If you have a traffic light, like let's say you're building a traffic light, you've got your item frames, the red, green and yellow blocks, because they're so bright, they are going to make really good traffic lights. As you can see, they stand out really well. I'm going to keep this on my Greek house because it's another idea. Technically this video would mean it's 51 them, I'm going to keep it 50. I'm lazy and it's even. So the next design here, kind of like the pig pen over there, I have used the or two, one new block, one new reskin block. So I've made a little stable under here with hay, but then I've also put through there some of the yellow concrete powder block because it's it's another texture, it's quite nice. It kind of looks like really fake sand, I suppose. And then I've got the yellow carpet. Yes, yellow carpet. I've just placed it on top for another texture. So this is a simple design. I've tried I've tried to use the purple block twice here. This block's very particular. Um, so I've gone for purple because when you think kind of gothic-y, ritualistic stuff, you kind of think purple and grey, stuff like that. So I've used the purple concrete block and the purple terracotta tile. Kind of looks like each edge is pointing towards the enchanting table. I think it looks okay. This one here is another upgrade cut one type design, sorry. So on some of the PvE cities that I've been on on my server, they'll sometimes use this leafy looking block for a cool pathway and they'll line lights under it. If you want to add a bit more detail, I recommend adding the green concrete block and also the green concrete powder block. Just adds another texture, another depth to the, the pathway and looks really really nice. So my final design here is a, I built a really dodgy little mini PvP arena. So the reason I've done this, I don't know if anyone else thinks so, but I think the design of the purple terracotta blocks, it kind of looks like a sword. So I've also used the pink ones to enter there. But if you look at the block carefully, I'll show it now. But if you put one block down and you just look at it, I don't know if anyone else sees it, but it kind of looks like the handle of the sword and then you got the sword down there and then this is the handle. So when you put them kind of in a pattern all together, you can see what I mean there. But when you put them in a pattern all together, when I look at it, not only is it could be a ritual type thing, but when I look at it, it kind of looks like it's four sword handles coming all together, like the swords crossing. So I kind of think it's actually a really, really good symbol for PvP arenas or anything like that. I've simply done mine as entryways to the little PvP arena that I've built. You could do whatever, it's up to you. But as you can see, there are 50, technically 51, <laughs> different ways you could build with the new blocks in Minecraft. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you did. And comment down below which one was your favourite design and what you would do. I personally like my fireplace and my picture frames, but let me know. But like always, thank you. Bye.